What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here back at it again with another video. Before this video starts today guys, I need you guys to please drop a like on this video, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. Okay guys, today what we are going to be doing is changing the coolant on the CRF150R. So it's pretty straightforward and I will guide you guys through the process. All right, guys, I just figured out that the camera was not recording when I drained it out. I'm sorry, but I'll go over what you have to do. So basically, you want to have some kind of drain pan. It doesn't matter. It's, the coolant doesn't really hurt anything. But you want this for my bike. It's a Honda CRF 150R. For my bike, um, you want to take the bolt out with the copper washer. That's for the coolant. Um, you can kind of see where the water pump is. Makes sense. So you take that out and you let it drain into a pan. It's gonna go a little slow at first, but then when you take the coolant cap off here, it's gonna come out a lot faster. So just have the drain pan close to the uh, bike so it catches it all. So now that we have it all drained out, oh, and I also like to mention, you don't have to tighten this bolt like super tight. It's the torque spec's like seven foot pounds. All right, so we got the old coolant here and we're gonna put the new stuff in. So we'll get to doing that. So I got the new coolant right here. Um, what a lot of guys like to do, they'll actually take this uh, shroud off here to put the coolant in. But I mean, I think if I turn this, these handlebars all the way, I can just fill it like that. I haven't before, I have before, so we'll just do it like that. So basically you just wanna kind of turn this cap to the left. It's gonna be kind of hard. But you want to just twist it till it's right there. Then you'll see it pop off a little bit. And then you can just take it off like that. It's hard to do it with one hand. But there's your cap. So now as you can see, as you can see, it's empty in there. So we're going to put coolant in there now. The camera angle is not going to be the best here. But you probably can get an idea of what I'm doing. So you just want to pour it in there until it gets to the top. Very top. Okay, so as you can see, right there, you can see that it's pretty much topped off. But what you wanna do, cause sometimes you can get air bubbles in there, what you wanna do is turn over the engine a couple times to just, ro just uh, make the water pump move so you can uh, get it flowing through there and make sure there's no air bubbles. And all the air bubbles should come up through the top if there are any. This thing's hard to turn over by hand. All right, so I cranked it over and I just have to add a little bit more up here. But what I'll do um, when it gets nicer out and I'm ready to ride, I'll start it up for a couple minutes, let it run. Then I'll turn it off, wait for it to cool down completely, and then see if I need to add any. Because you always want your coolant to be topped off on your dirt bike. It's completely topped off now, so throw that puppy back on there. Make sure this twists on all the way, because you do not want that coming off when you're riding. All right, so it's on all the way, and I'm not going to start it up right now because the tanks, I got the tank completely dried out for the winter, but in a couple of weeks, we should be able to uh, take it out on a ride, so we'll just have to see what happens. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you learn how to change your coolant on your dirt bike. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. So thanks for watching this, guys. Um, please drop a like on this video, Twitter, Instagram, links in the description below. And yeah, that's it. So please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. I'll see you guys in the next one.